And we are about to have a snap experience. And if you are a fabulous diva, then you're definitely at the snap experience. And I'm talking to a wonderful, glamorous looking lady. Her name is Angelique. Hi, Angelique. Hi, thank you. You look fabulous. Thank you. Tell thank us you, about your you. look. Um, well, what I'm wearing is actually a Senegalese outfit. Oh, wow. Um, it's very elaborate in terms of the kind of detail. Um, so it's really made for very glam events or very big sort of functions. Yeah. So I felt this was quite appropriate. Um, I love the sequin detail. So I think I it's do. Nice. It's very in trend at the moment. Basically, the theme was glam. So anything glamorous goes and I just wanted to get something that's quite comfortable and simple because I think sometimes glamour is all about being simple. This is glam. Uh, it was the dress code was gold and glam so I decided to go glam. Yeah. This is kind of official-ish. As this, um, I didn't want to wear a dress. It's, it's in the middle of the week, yeah? So it's something I could put on and go to Jogo with and uh, shoot a feature with. Well, um, I guess I'm just going with the trend. Uh, right now, uh, boots boots are in. Uh, the, the whole African uh, print is pretty much in. So, uh, being a designer, uh, we're, we're not usually the best dressers, but we try. Yeah. Like I said, it's a night of fabulous divas and none other than Sheila Mwaniga is with me. Hi, thank you. Hello. hello you look hello. fabulous. Thank, thank you. Tell me much. about your dress. Well, this was something I actually picked up for my mom. Okay. <laughs> wow. Because I've come straight from your the office. Your mom is super trendy. <laughs> yes, I did. I picked yeah. it up from my mom's house, but it's something I bought for her and for myself. I've got loads of them okay. from Morocco last year. Oh. Um, well, I was going to the office. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't even think about the party that I'm coming to tonight. So it's just like crop pants, uh, some heels and a blazer and a top. That's pretty much it. Put some things together. Um, a, a vintage jacket, a vintage dress, um, tights from Woolworths and vintage boots and uh, these are bangles that I made myself with African fabric and earrings with African fabric made by a girl called Polly. and of course my girl. I wanted to dress like a boy. It's what in now, being a boy. Um, it was an evening event, so basically black never goes wrong. You never go wrong with black anytime. So um, I just wore my black dress, which is um, more, it has a Victoria finish at the end. And I just took, took the feather earrings because they, they pop out more. And because I'm Maasai, I always wear this everywhere I go. So I, I just put it in there. Uh, she's just wearing a bubble skirt, which uh, she just wore with a black vest and the cold dry brown, uh, brown coat. We just put on the earrings because uh, she didn't have anything on her neck. So uh, it worked best for her. Then I'm wearing my booties, my black booties, and she's wearing um, the five inch heel that really goes on with her look and what goes on with mine because it's like a simple look with, my, with whatever I'm wearing. 